What's going on guys, it's Hi with the Upper Life USA and today I'm going to show you how to load and unload film into the Nikonos 5. So here is our Nikonos 5. Loading and unloading film into this camera is rather simple, so let's get started. The first thing that we're going to want to do is turn the camera sideways to this left side. This is actually the mechanism that allows you to open up this back door so you can actually insert your film. As you can see, the Nikonos 5 actually has a safety switch, so you can't accidentally open this thing up without actually pressing this button down and turning the latch. And as you can see, it just pops right open. Now that we have the back door open, let's actually load this camera up with some film. As you can see, the film pressure plate is actually attached to the body of this camera rather than on the back door like some other models. So we're just going to lift up this pressure plate, take our cartridge of film, put it to the left, take the film and stretch it over to the right. If you can make it out, there's actually little cutouts in this take up spool and that's where you want to insert your film leader. So we're just going to do that, take the film leader and insert it to the take up spool. And from here all you got to do is just advance your film and fire off a couple shots, making sure that the film is fully wound into this take up spool. So. Let's take our advance lever and just advance it and fire off a shot. And as you can see, the film is being wound up around this take-up spool. Another thing that you want to take note of is that these little film cutouts, these little holes on the side, is actually being guided by the sprocket teeth right here. So again, just advance, and as you can see, the teeth is moving the film forward. And again, it's being wrapped around that take-up spool. From here, we're pretty much good. All we have to do is just lower the film pressure plate and close the back door as we are done with this portion. Right here is the film counter window. It tells you how many shots you have taken, how many shots you have left. And to finish loading film, all we have to do is just advance the film Take a shot and keep doing this until the film counter window shows us that we are on number one. And that means that you are on shot number one and you're ready to go. And now I am on number one, so I am ready to go. I'm just going to keep firing off shots and pretend like we are going to finish up with this roll of film. And we want to unload it. To unload film in the Nikonos 5, all we have to do is take this mode dial and turn it to the red R, which stands for rewind. Now that that is done, we can take our film rewind lever, just flip up the crank, and it actually comes up, and you really want to lift this arm up, because without that, the film actually does not spin at all, or at least it doesn't rewind back into the cartridge. So make sure to lift it up, and then just start cranking. And from here, You'll notice some resistance and that's how you know that the film is actually being rewound back into the cartridge. Once it's done, you'll feel it break loose from the take-up spool on the right that we loaded our film leader into and it becomes very easy to spin and that's when you know that it is done rewinding the film back into the cartridge. When you're done rewinding film back into the cartridge, all you have to do is repeat the process of opening up the back door and there you go film is rewound and unloaded and you're ready to load another roll or just put the camera away. And there you have it, a quick tutorial showing you how to load and unload film into the Nikonos 5. If I were to give you one tip, it's that to be really careful and make sure that you have this back door fully sealed and pressed down evenly after every time you open it. Because this is an underwater camera. If you want to take it underwater, you want to make sure that O-ring is securely in place so that water doesn't get in and ruin everything. So like I said, just make sure that everything is closed properly. If you enjoyed this video or if it has helped you out, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Share this video, comment with any questions that you may have. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.